started um, playing drums when I was um, nine years old. And uh, that was really the first time that I got thoroughly bitten by the music bug. Um, and um, uh, I was listening to rock music, mainly Led Zeppelin, um, and my favourite band, and I really dug John Bonham's drumming. And it was through listening to um, John Bonham play drums and reading interviews with him uh, that I actually learnt about Elvin Jones in jazz. So I thought I'd better go and check some of that out. And that was the beginning of the uh, that was the beginning of the end, I suppose. And um, that led to um, that led to me investigating a load of jazz records and people I knew who were into jazz lent me some stuff. Um, and I listened to Keith Jarrett's quartet, a load of Miles Davis things, and I heard Coltrane's early records. Uh, because I was still very much into the rock thing too, uh, I was quite excited by the fusion activity that was going on at the time with Billy Cobham and the Brecker Brothers. And so I suppose my jazz interest came about as a weird mixture of all of those, all of those things. What I heard when I first heard John Coltrane especially and, um, and also Dexter Gordon, so I'd say they were probably my two biggest initial influences, was an incredible intensity of, uh, I suppose, passion and spirit or whatever you call it. The, the tone they produced, uh, the way they placed the notes and the way that they manipulated the notes um, and the swing feel had such a re hugely resonant effect on me. A lot of people I was listening to um, played original music and so it was all part and parcel of wanting to play. I felt it would be necessary to explore the composition avenue as well um, and so I just tried to write some things. And to start off with, with not very good effect, but I suppose it's like playing, you're not very good at it to begin with. The difference with um, composition is that you've got time to agonise over it and it used to take me absolutely ages to come up with something and I subsequently learned that actually most of the best ideas I have are the initial ideas so I've learnt to be a, a little bit more trusting of my initial instinct and what I pour over and spend ages on the final tweaks at the end a bit like you do with a mix or something like that. because there's a very good team spirit involved and I think you hear that when you hear the band play. It feels as if we're uh, pursuing the same kind of objectives and um, uh, more important than that, I love all these guys playing and they're my favourite exponents of their, of their instrument. It's great they all said yes to it and still seem to be enjoying doing it, so I'll enjoy it for as long as, uh, for as, long as I can.
Chef Gaston and Grace, Sam Harvey, and Kelly Turner, who's a